in 2008. I was working up in Grand Prairie and found uh, these accordion fold books. I didn't know they were called accordion fold books, I just thought they were foldy. So I called them foldy books. And I write of death on everything that I own. My iPod was Ian's iPod of death. And, uh, so it was a joke. And so I bought this book, and the first thing I did was write Ian's book of Foldy Book of Death on it. Uh, and I thought it was just going to be a sketchbook. I didn't really think it was, it was just going to be a side project. And I got about this far into it, four or five pages into it, and then suddenly realized that it was all going to be one piece of paper. And this was really interesting. This is a way of creating visual narrative outside of film or video in sort of handmade pictorial space. Uh, which is something that I've always wanted to do. Ever since I can remember, I've been interested in comic books and creating stories with images and juxtaposing images, imagery together and generating imagery of my own. You know, you go to art school and they tell you, oh, you can't do that. I went to a very formal school. It was steel, abstract steel sculpture, abstract painting. Very formal, very sort of stuck in the 50s. Um, moving to Vancouver was... Um, I never fit in that school. I, you know, I went there, but it, so there was always kind of a, a love-hate relationship with painting, and sort of the capital P painting. What does painting mean? What does it mean to be a good painter? What's a good painting? Um, you have to be a great painter. Um, who cares? I mean, you know. Um, and so, and then why painting? Like, why? Why would I? Why would I do this in painting and not in some other media? Um, and for me, the, the question is really simple. It's, just, it's uh, where my natural facility lies um, in drawing. And I love painting. I love the material qualities of paint. I love what it can do. Um, I can think quickly with painting. And it was just fortuitous that the that this sort of continuous format happened to me, uh, where suddenly this thing that I thought was going to be just a side project turned into the driving force of all of my work. So, so it's a complicated relationship and I think I've come to terms with it now but for a long time it was kind of like you know why am I make, trying to make these beautiful things the original intent was to basically encircle the viewer so that you were in the middle of this painting uh, and that you couldn't see it all at once I mean normally you walk into a gallery you see a painting I understand it you turn around and you walk out this painting you have to actually like turn your head to see the whole thing and turn and look around behind you and actually when it's in certain instances you actually have to walk through it. Like at the Grunt Gallery it was more like a maze that you actually had to negotiate through and it, it basically yeah, occupied the entire gallery. What I hope for is, is some kind of a conversation, some sort of engagement where, um, you know, because I put a lot into it and I really feel like I just got started when I had to stop. So it was... Um, and I put little things in it for people to find and little things for me to find because I don't you know, necessarily remember everything that I put in there. That's what I love about art, is mm -hmm. there's always something to do. Mm -hmm. um, I, you never reach the end of it. For a long time it seemed like painting had an end game. Like that there was, you know, that it was over, that it was finished, and which is ridiculous. But when you narrow the terms of painting down so much, um, to the flat surface and the flat mark and the flat color, mm -hmm. uh, which is just completely arbitrary, really. Um, but when you essentialize painting in that way, um, it does feel very closed off. Mm -hmm. So I, I, and that's not what I'm interested in. I, mean, I, you know, I appreciate those facts about painting, but, um, but I, I would just like turn around and look the other way and go off in a different direction. You know, like it's, uh, those concerns are not my concerns.